Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy. Be back again, man. I bet I've been waiting on this EP, Scary Hours. I think this is the second Scary Hours because the the first one he did was back in 2018, right before Scorpion album dropped. So this Scary Scary Hours two small EP featuring Rick Ross, Lil Baby, just just three songs. I guess it's to hold us over into Certified Lover Boy because that was reportedly supposed to drop at the beginning of this year in January, but it ain't never dropped, man. But I'm excited for this for this album, and I and I already know it probably gonna be like a lot of like true quote unquote hip hop heads that be like, man, Drake, Drake ain't no real rapper, you know what I'm saying? He he got writers, Quentin Miller, Meek Mill exposed that, but man, the truth of the matter is. It's so many rappers that got ghost writers that got hooks written for them or whole verses that that you may not even know about. Drake just happened to be at the absolute top and he he called himself the best. So people gonna just always, you know what I'm saying, go at him. But man, he makes great music. He's one of the greatest artists of this generation as far as like full music. Like we ain't talking about bars, we talking about like production, music. He's one of the greatest artists. Of this generation, yeah, but Scary Hours, man. The my favorite was the one with him and Rick Ross. I think it was called Lemon Pepper Freestyle. That was my favorite one. But he, him and Lil Baby went in too on their song, and the, and the song he did by himself, he went in too. But my favorite joint, the longest song of the whole project, was the Lemon Pepper Freestyle. And man, him and Rose went in, bro. They do not miss when both of them get on the track. Him and Rose. Do not miss. And him and Lil Baby, he he hit Lil Baby with the stimulus package like beginning of 2018. I ain't know who the hell Lil Baby was at that time, but you know, Drake, Drake always do that. And honestly, like out of all the artists and rappers that Drake like hopped on a song when they was just bubbling but not huge, Lil Baby is like the only one that blew up the most. Like, I can't think, maybe y'all can help me out in the comment section, but I can't think of no other rapper that Drake like helped like in the beginning of his career that popped like Lil Baby like Lil Baby his new album just went double platinum so yes he he out of here he already said he get like two three hundred a show but my favorite Drake album like I always debate this with my friends like we always go back Take Care or Nothing Was The Same which one was the best album of course the classic is Take Care but like overall best like in production as in quality as in like re-listen over and over and over Man, I gotta go with um, nothing was the same. Man. Nothing was the same, yeah. But man, this John Sweet, Drake and Rose, man, they got like unlimited collabs that I can go on about for days. Free Spirit, um, this one they just dropped Money in the Grave, Gold Roses. Like they got so many classic hits together. I'm just glad the Meek Mill beef over. So like, cause I know I know Rick Ross is mad about that 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 Meek Mill beef happened because he was like, damn man, me and my me and my number one collaborator, man. But yeah, man, everything seemed good. Certified lover boy seemed like it's a go, man. Are y'all ready for this? Like, are y'all really ready for this? I know I am, man. And let me know what y'all think about the Scary Arrows 2 EP. And let me know what y'all favorite song on the joint was, man. Because I am ready for Certified Lover Boy. This is a beat boy B. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.